Hey, Ninja. Um, if you are a heartbeat community manager, you are on the right video. <laughs> I have seen a lot of questions lately in Heartbeat's own community, the Hearth, regarding um, the user experience when they are joining onto a community, either a paid community or free community. And I want to just help you with some of the confusion surrounding that. And I have some awesome resources for you. So um, if you don't know me yet, I'm Misty Dorman from mistydorman.com and lifeninjatraining.com. I help overwhelmed entrepreneurs implement systems, strategies, tools, and tech to save time and mental calories growing their biz. And if you want more of these types of videos, please leave your vote by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Um, it really does tickle the algorithm, so to speak, and helps me get these videos out to more people. I do have an entire Heartbeat um, tutorials playlist for you, which I will link down below. Um, okay, so um, I have created, this is a Notion file, and if you're not familiar with Notion, not a big deal. Um, it's free and you will be able to click the link below to just go and access this file. Um, but I wanted to share with you basically what is the user's experience when they join a paid group via an invite link and sort of like um, what you can see as an admin. Um, I may add some more screenshots to this, but I want to get this out there because there's a lot of questions coming in. I finally did get a chance to test through Heartbeat Payments this week, and I feel like I have a decent handle on how this works now so I can share with you. Okay, um, so when you send an invite link that gives access to a paid group, this is their experience. Um, and we'll talk maybe just a little bit about free groups as well. Um, so here's kind of just an FYI, invite links to paid groups do work differently from invite links to free groups, okay? So if you send an invite link that contains access to a free group, um, to someone who is already a member of your community, that link doesn't really work. It doesn't really, um, because you're inviting them to the community and they're already part of the community. Instead, you need to add them to the group they need access to either manually or via an automation of some sort. Um, that's probably uh, another video. But as far as paid groups go, so you, like you're using Heartbeat Payments and it's tied into a group inside of Heartbeat for access. Um, and, and then there's like an invite link that you use in order to, um, to give them access to that paid group. Um, that works whether they're in your community or not, okay? Um, so this, is, this document in particular is to help you with what happens when they get the um, paid invite link, okay? And I know this may change at some point and sort of invalidate this video, but I will keep this um, document as up to date as I can. So make sure you grab it below and um, just maybe bookmark it if you think you'll need access to it because um, every time you come back, it may be updated, right? Um, so as they change uh, any of the screens, I will try to keep this updated. All right, so uh, I do have a link here if you want to go to Heartbeat's documentation on Heartbeat payments and how to set all that up and how that works. They have some good documentation out there. I'm just trying to help kind of fill in the gaps a little bit because um, I know people are getting confused. So this is what I saw when I tested through payments. So uh, as um, so I'm using my demo Heartbeat community and I tested joining um, as a um as like a, joining a paid group with the paid invite link. This was the first screen I saw. It asked me for my email address. Okay, so um, this is what your people will see too. If they are already a member of the community, it should skip asking them for the email address and just start walking them through making their payment. Um, so here's where they will select their plan. It's just walking through these little tabs at the top of the screen. So first they confirm their email, then they select their plan. If there's multiple different plans that you've set up, different like access levels, then um, this is where they'll select that. Okay, and then on the next screen, after they hit the next button, they're gonna be asked for their credit card information, okay? So they need to enter that in and hit pay now. Now it's my understanding that even if they are joining something with a free trial, um, that's gonna be like a membership subscription type of a thing, 
they do need to enter their credit card info because otherwise you can't charge them when the trial is over. Okay, so they've got to enter their credit card info. And uh, this is where I think some confusion is happening. And I will bring this up with the Heartbeat team and see if they can um, make this more clear on their end. Um, so if you have an existing member, um, community member, maybe I should reword this a little bit, existing community member, um, they will see this screen after making a payment. Thanks for your purchase. You're now part of the group. Um, premium is what I called mine. So you're now part of the group. Well, um, as I'm recording this, there is no button or link or anything to direct them back to the community in order to go access their new level of content. OK, um, so I think that might be where some people are getting a little bit confused. So I'll talk to the heartbeat team and see if they can just add like a little button here that says like return to the community. And I think that will solve that problem. Um, if they are a new community member, you know, I never know what to call people in here. Uh, we'll say community member. Um, they will see this after making payment. Thanks for your purchase. You're in. Just complete our onboarding to get started. And there is a button. OK, um, so if they stop at this point, I don't worry, I'm not going to leave you hanging. I've got some instructions below for that. But if they hit continue, um, then they're going to start the onboarding process and just walk through the onboarding screen. So um, at this point, they also will receive an email receipt from Stripe that looks something like this. Um, congratulations, like here, you made a payment, right? Um, and when they hit the continue button, like I said, they start the onboarding process. This, I think, is where some people also get confused, um, especially some of the less tech savvy people. So what they need to do is leave this window open. This is just asking them for a six digit code that is sent to their email address. They do not get a um, like a user ID and password um, at this point in time, or um, I don't know if Heartbeat will change that. But right now, as I'm recording this, they, they don't get that. What they use to get into your community is just their email address. And um, they need to go and validate their email address or grab their six digit code from an email that is sent to them. The email that is sent to them is not from you. Um, I don't know that Heartbeat has the ability to change this because it's a third party um, that is sending this email. OK, um, so. This is what they need to look for. It's a subject that says login to heartbeat. Um, yes, that is confusing to them because at this point they may have never heard the word heartbeat and they don't know um, what heartbeat is. Okay, So um, you might want to let them know ahead of time um, or maybe heartbeat will add something a little more specific to the screen. I don't even know that they can edit this screen because like I said, it's a third party software. Um, so if your user needs a little bit of extra help, um, this might be the screen that they are on. They need to go look for this email. It says log into heartbeat and it comes from no reply at trymagic.com. Okay. And it has this six digit code. If they don't see it, have them check their spam, their promotions folder, you know, do a little search in the search bar that I've never had a problem receiving the email. So as long as they typed in their email address correctly, it should work. OK, um, upon entering the code, they will immediately start the onboarding process. And currently that's where they start with um, adding their profile picture. I know in the future, Heartbeat's considering making that not um, required, but this is where it starts right now. Add your profile picture um, after they paid you'll be able to see them listed under admin settings um, under the monetization um, sidebar item, <laughs> just click monetization. And you can click the three dots next to your paid group and then click manage members. OK, on this screen, you will see them listed um, as either active or um, that they're, they're not quite onboarded yet. You'll be able to tell what their status is. And um, and then if they have paid, I told you I wouldn't leave you hanging here. This is where people kind of get stuck. If they've paid, but they don't complete the onboarding process. Um, okay, 
here's what you see. Um, unless they're an existing member of your community, you will not see them in your all users area. So where, where you have like a list of community members, paid or unpaid or whatever, um, like if you have free people, whatever, your list of all your community members, you are not going to see them listed there yet unless they were already a community member. Okay. Uh, but you will find them under monetization. And you just go back to that same area, look at the group and um, you will see this is kind of tiny on my screen right now, but it's almost like a little circle and there will be a number next to it for how many people are stuck at this point where they have paid but not finished onboarding. If you want to go and see their details, again, you just click the three dots and go to manage members. You'll see that their status is um, it doesn't say active. It will say onboarding incomplete. And there'll be a little question mark. It's for like a tool tip. If you hover over that question mark, it's going to instruct you that they can return to the same invitation link they used to pay to continue creating their account. Sorry, the link they used to pay. <laughs> they can click that to continue creating their account. I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Um, <laughs> so um, have them use your invite link. Okay, the one that they used to pay to join the paid group. Have them go back to that. Now, this is where I think they get confused, like they're stuck in a circle and they can't figure out how to get like breakthrough and actually get into the group because when they go into that invite link, they start at the same screen that's asking for their email address, have them enter their email address there. And then it is not going to take them to the second tab that has them select their payment plan and like enter their credit card information. Instead, it's going to take them back to the confirmation window that says, thanks for your purchase just complete the onboarding, like click continue. Okay. They need to click continue on the screen and walk through all of the onboarding setup all the way until it drops them into your community. And then they'll show up on your end as an active member. <laughs> okay. Um, so just walk them through making sure that even if they think like, oh, it just took me back to the same page and it's asking for my payment info. It probably is not as long as they're entering the same email address. They just think it's going to ask them for their payment info. Tell them, enter your email address and they will be fine. Now, um, I have created some sort of like customer facing or um, like user facing documents in my heartbeat templates pack, which I'll leave a link to below if you don't have that yet. So you will be able to just send your potential, your customer or your lead straight to those documents that will walk them through this entire process where they're not seeing like the admin side of things like this document I just showed you. This is for you um, to use and reference and know how the process works. Um, I've created some other documents for them to use and reference and understand how it works in case they get stuck so that um, it'll just walk them through with the appropriate screenshots and everything. And you can grab that. Oops, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I forgot to turn my phone on silent. Um, you can grab that in the heartbeat templates pack, which I'll link below. And just to show you what I've created, and I, I might add some more to it as well, but I just, I need to get this out there because there's a lot of people getting stuck and um, asking questions over in the hearth. But um, what I have added, I've got how to join a paid group via invite link. Okay. So this is going to walk them through all of those screens that I showed you. Um, and what they'll see, uh, whether they're a member of the community already or not a member. So this walks them through if they get stuck on this page and don't know what to do since there's no button there yet. Um, what to do if they get stuck kind of right here and don't really know what to do or with the, um, you know, entering their code. This is telling them keep the window open. Just go to your email and come back. If you forgot to keep the window open, like what if I didn't finish onboarding, right? Um, I've got how to do that. Like they need to go back to your invite link and start over, but it's not going to ask for payment. They need to hit continue and go through that. And then this will also take them to, if they want to see what the um, onboarding process is like, um, then they can go in here and walk through um, what the community onboarding is. So this is walking them through again, like um, the verification code, keep the screen open, 
here's what the email looks like that you receive. And here's some onboarding screens that you might see what you need to do, you know, make sure that you enter real data where we're asking you to tell us about yourself. Um, you know, because that might show up in an intro thread. I'm keeping it kind of generic. I'm not naming any thread names or anything like that. I'm saying you may be prompted to watch an onboarding video because I know some of you do and don't have onboarding videos within your process. Um, and like, hey, at this point, you're in, ready to go engage, dancing lady, right? Um, so that's what I've started creating as like sort of lead or customer facing docs, which you can grab in the, um, the templates pack. They'll be fully editable for you and you can tweak the screenshots. If you want, you can, um, change my, um, link at the top of here. You can change that to your own. I've got, this as like an affiliate link. Um, so you could change that to your own affiliate link if you want to. Um, and yeah, you'll just be able to, if you want, if you prefer, you can share it just as is and send your customer right there to go and um, grab those instructions. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, again, I will put links to all of the resources, including the templates pack below, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye, Ninja.